for financial wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your host, Don Getling and Gino Fronti. Not just trying to push the but there are reasons why you really should consider it. And Mark's here to answer the real questions and, and the facts and, and what you need to know. So thanks for being here, Mark. Thanks for having me. All right. Real so estate. See, real estate. We have, let's see, five minutes here to kind of go into what's going on in real estate. Um, I'll start, I'll stay with the fact that the real estate market is the hottest it's been since 2007. Mm -hmm. Um, we're up, we've already, we've already been up each year with sales and this year nationally it's up 3%, which is a big number overall, but here it's even up more. Yep. Um, witnessing, um, witnessing more listings coming on the market, but all that's doing is catch up to the, the demand. We have so many buyers in the wings, mm -hmm. uh, pent up demand for every property comes on the market. So we don't really get a chance to see the inventory expanding. It's just flying off the shelves. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, our, our inventory levels are 30 days. Yeah. So that's the good news. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, 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 the challenge that brings with that is the impact impact that it has on our industry, okay? So, um, you know, I put out a blog this week called Food for Thought, and it was to give uh, our real estate professionals that we, you know, we network with and do business with, um, you know, something to think about. Get out of your mindset that was in place a year ago and three years before that and five years before that. We're in a different world today. And will be for some time until, until things stabilize. And what's what does that mean? Well, stabilize means until all of the uh, all of the uh, entities involved in a real estate transaction can adjust to the volume of transactions that's happening. And I'm not talking about out of control um, volumes and numbers. I, I mean, but you know, Don, no, no doubt, you're busier than you've never been right now. Right now we are. Um, thank goodness. Uh, and thank been, you, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, and we're very blessed with with, yep. with a good amount of business, and so is our friends in title insurance business. But the problem is, the 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 expectations of the people that are on the receiving end of our work uh, is out of alignment with our with our timelines and our capabilities. Right. And that's what's causing. Well, it's some, everybody. It's like you said. Yeah, yeah. Because if it was just one entity, you go, okay, you guys fix it. Right. Escrow, you fix it. Right. But it's escrow, it's title, it's lending, right. appraisers. Right. Yeah. I mean, you go down the line, it affects all of us, and therefore there's potential delays. But let me tell you this. There are ways, and I've been working on this for a while because I, could, I, I couldn't believe I was the only one experiencing this. But I've, I, I've been <laughs> right. able, to, I've been able to, 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 to hammer, hammer down and kind of get some isolated examples on what you can avoid as a consumer. So if you're a buyer out there listening to this program this Saturday morning and you're currently thinking about buying a home, um, let me tell you this right now. Listen to this. Do not do business with a lender that you cannot see the whites of their eyes of. Bingo. Cannot walk into the building and sit down at their desk and shake their hand and get to know them. Do not do business with a lender that's not a, a member of the community you're going to live in. Because if you don't get all those things working for you, you're going to be walking into harm's way unnecessarily. Okay? I, I can tell you right now that almost every example of a, of a transaction that's not going the way we all would like to see it as consumers go is because we have correspondent lenders on the East Coast being, working with us via email and, 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 and you telephone. You know. You deal with yeah. all of them. And, and, and I, I, I just can't tell you the amount of anguish that you're going to go in, you're, 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 you're going to put yourself in the middle of by going with somebody that you don't know, can't put your finger on, and can't look in the, in, in the eyes of. Okay. Just, right. just, just tell them. And, and we, we say this over the time. We said it time and time again on the show. This is not just the benefit Newhall Escrow or Skyline Home Loans because we are local lenders here. But if you work with a local, at least a local yeah. direct lender, real estate pro professional, just as is imperative, uh, escrow company, title company that understands and is accountable. The key thing is accountability. We're all accountable to each right, other. Right. You don't survive in this community, this right. tiny little community, for for very long if you're unaccountable. So if you're with an accountable professional team of members, they're all accountable to help you have a successful transaction. This community may be tiny, Don, but it's very dynamic in its business sense. We have some serious people out here that do a lot of business, do it do it, do it the right way. Look at you. You're a, you're a real estate mortgage lender who's invested thousands of dollars in a real estate radio show to, to deliver information to the consumer on a weekly basis for the last six years. How many people in lending business do that? None. No, or very and few. I'm still waiting for the checks I, to come in. I, I get it. I, <laughs> I know, but I, I'm, try, I'm just trying to speak to the fact that we may be a smaller community, but 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 our business climate here is very advanced and it's very mm -hmm. intense. And what we do, we care about, and we want to. We want our our clients, our buyers and sellers, to have a good experience. We want them to come to this town and enjoy being here. You know, but I'm finding right now that people are going through this hellish experience getting here. And, and and that really doesn't sit well as a 
welcome to the neighborhood. So my mission <laughs> is to is to educate the communicators that gets the message to the buyer and to the seller to 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 throw caution in the air that these times are are changing. They're different. Yes, we can we can do some things to increase the odds in our favor to be successful and to have a positive um, experience. But it takes all of us to work together, the same understanding, similar expectations to make it happen. That's a very good message from Steve Korn, owner of Newhall Escrow. Been in business out here 54 years for a reason. Uh, and Steve, you've been in the business how long now? 28. 20, 28 years. I've been in it for 29, going on 30. And we're basically telling all of you to be prepared to have expectations set correctly. And for you real estate agents out there, and some of you are out there listening, to set those expectations right. And therefore, you have a successful transaction, a less stressful transaction. And therefore, you get more referrals. It's funny how that works because right. they'll, they'll be happy with that trend. So just don't get over anxious. For you buyers and agents, make sure everyone's pre-approved well in advance, mm. ready to go, making sure their I's are dotted, T's are crossed. And I'll tell you, I know Skyline, we close all our loans. We close all our loans on time, and we make sure of that. So we get, we'll we actually call the listing agent and let them know how qualified you are, that you are prepared and ready to go. We will close on time. There will be no surprise. That's what people don't want, right? That's right. the main thing you probably deal with more than anything at New Hall Escrow is darn surprises, and they expect you to fix them. Absolutely, 100%. Even over time, my responsibility or my, or my area of the transaction it still lands on my lap to, to, to explain it and redirect the p person who's got the question to the right party in the transaction. And, and invariably, it's an expectation situation. It's a, it, it, I, I can't explain it any better than that. That's the bottom line. But I do want to throw one more thing on the table. Insurance is a major issue right now. The moratorium we have mm -hmm. because of the recent sand fire, um, insurance is an issue. If you fall into a zip code that is being affected by the moratorium, you're going to have a problem getting insurance. To sweeten that pot, you should most definitely be doing business with a local insurance agent, not some not one eight hundred go get insured, not somebody that's over in in Duarte uh, on a home you're buying in Santa Santa Cruz Valley. You got to do business with somebody that's local so they can understand the uh, the idiosyncrasies of what you're doing. I'm I'm involved in a transaction right now where the buyer has went online and did all their re research and did a correspondent lender in in, in, in New Jersey. The, the the insurance agent is in Texas, and and you can't get them on the phone, and there's issues with the insurance, on and on and on. But if you have the ability to get somebody local who knows the property, knows the business climate, and walked in their business, walk in their office and look them in the eye and say, "What can we do to fix this?" You'd be uh, much better off. All right, that's why you work with Steve Corin, owner of New Hall Escrow, Skyline Home Loans, and your local professionals. All right, don't go away. We're I mean, we're, hopefully you got a lot of info regarding real estate market. Now we're going to dive into solar, why you should have it, who has it, what's new about it, what's changing about it. We have Mark Figueroa with Sun Power Green Convergence here to share with you what you need to know when we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show.